There are so many things to think about when it comes to playing the guitar. Should I follow the practice routine? What should I practice? Uh, do I need to learn scales? What about strumming, learning chords, and so on? It does not need to be that complicated. In this lesson, I share seven easy tips that you can follow that will make a huge difference in getting better at playing the guitar. Welcome back to Relax and Learn Guitar. I'm Kevin. This is Maggie May, who's always curious and wants to be in the videos. My wife, Vicki, is behind the camera. Hello. And I have to warn you, you know, marriage is about sharing, and I have shared my sinus infection with Vicki, so mm -hmm. just a heads up. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, but we're excited to show you these seven tips, so let's get started. My first tip is to learn to play songs, and that might sound really obvious, but the way learning happens is the first way you learn is by copying. So uh, think, uh, look out for songs that you like, um, start with something that you enjoy doing or listening to, and then learn that on the guitar. I really can't think of a better feeling of, I mean, it's just immediate, like you didn't know how to play the song, and then you learn to play the song and can play it, and it's just really satisfying. Uh, for example, I am kind of relearning, I mean, I guess really not relearning because I never learned it very well the first time. <coughs> And just heads up, yeah, heads up, you might hear some coughing today. Um, I'm learning Blackbird. I mean, I gave a stab at it when I was younger. But the thing with um, learning songs is there's always something new. And I, um, I found that, oh, we're going to get another hello from Maggie May at this point who's very interested today. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I've, I've, what I found, and I see this with our uh, members in Relax on Guitar too, is when you have got a song that you've learned, there's always something new and it's a great way to learn new skills or techniques because it has a context of a song and you're not just kind of playing a scale or a mode or whatever. I don't know if we're gonna do this entire video with her on my lap or not, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, there's no, I don't have any picks. She likes, she loves eating picks. Um, so, uh, choose a song and here on Relax on Guitar, you can check out the channel. There's lots of great, uh, songs on this channel, especially for beginners. And that's where I kind of focus. You all got to start somewhere. So why not start with playing songs that you love? So tip number one is learn to play songs. Um, as we move through this lesson, I'm going to be directing uh, you to links that Vicki will leave below for lessons here on Relax Learn Guitar that go into a lot more depth than these quick tips. Uh, but if you'd like to start with three great rock acoustic songs to learn that have some great open chords and some easy strum patterns, and you want to check out the lesson in the link below. My number two tip is to practice through the mistakes. And I hesitate to say mistakes, I'd say practice through the rough spots. So, um, for example, Vicky's probably really tired of hearing, hearing this. When you're learning those songs, there's gonna be spots where there's a, a tricky chord change or a fingering or you have to move something that you haven't really done before. That's why songs are great, because you can learn new things. And when you come across those spots, I just kind of put it this way, annoy your friends and neighbors. Like, find that spot that gives you trouble and just play it over and over and over. And then when you're doing that, um, you know, make sure you move on. Don't just focus on the part that you're having trouble with. Um, play through the song. Don't just stop where it gets difficult. So tip number two, practice through the tough spots. We'll put it that way. My tip number three is to hang out with other guitar players or folks that are kind of going through what you're going through. And in today's day and age, it's easier to do than ever. I mean, you, if you can do that in person, great. Um, I do have a local mom and pop music shop that I like, and they do some jam sessions every once in a while. They kind of drop down during the pandemic, but they're all kind of picking back up again. So if you have an opportunity to be around other guitar players, that's always a positive thing. Uh, we run a Relax on Guitar membership. If you'd like to learn more about that, you can also check out the link below. Vicki will leave for you. And our members really like the community aspect of it. So if you can ever be in a situation where you are around other like-minded folks that are working on things that you enjoy too, like getting better at playing guitar, that is always a positive. Um, and I've got a couple of buddies that play guitar and I always look forward to hanging out with them. 
you know, sometimes even if we're not just playing, just talking about music is just really a really good way to kind of always get better at it. And tip number four kind of gives some people a little anxiety and it does me as well initially, kind of the more that you do this one, the better or the more natural it will feel. So I really think that recording yourself and watching it back is a great way to get better at playing the guitar. Um, and I still do this myself by watching videos back and learning, oh, okay, I kind of probably did that a little better or maybe to focus on that next time. And again, I, um, I always tell our members to share videos of themselves, learning songs, playing songs, because uh, hearing yourself back is just like an immediate feedback loop. And if you also have a way to get someone to give you some advice or some tips based on those videos, even better. My number five tip is to always start your uh, playing session. And I, um, session's kind of a fancy thing. Before you play each time, do a little finger exercise to warm things up. As we get a little older, even not, our uh, hands and fingers may not always do what we want them to do. So I always tell folks to just do easy, you know, I'm not a doctor, I don't play one on YouTube. Just do some easy hand stretches to get your fingers and hands kind of warmed up, shake them out. And then I just do this very simple finger exercise. I can show it to you guys here. It's just based around a pattern. So that pattern, we're gonna play just in these top four frets. Our index finger is always gonna play here on the first fret. Our middle finger is always gonna play the notes on the second fret. And our ring finger is always gonna play the notes on the third fret. And our pinky is always gonna play the notes on the fourth frets. And I just do a pattern going from the sixth string, uh, the fat low string here, up to the high skinny E string. And I just do the frets uh, in this order. Two, one, three, four. Two, one, three, four. All the way down. Or I should say all the way up because we're slowly going up. And then just kind of on the way down, we change it up a little bit and the frets uh, change to four, three, one, two. It doesn't have to be this exercise, but if you can do, and then you know, the further you get along, you can add in some alternate picking, worry about speed later. This is a great way to get your fingers ready and limbered up and stretched out to start playing that guitar. Number six tip is use a metronome. I like the plastic clunky analog version, but you can get metronome apps. You can get you know free metronome um, online if you just Google it, and they sell a bazillion different kinds. I really stick to the basics here, but a metronome, um, there's a link, we'll leave a link below as well. Um, a much more in-depth lesson on how to use a metronome to get better at rhythm and timing, which is probably like one of the number one things when it comes to playing the guitar. Um, but just for an example real quick, I've got this metronome set to 80 beats per minute. You'll see like BPM means beats per minute. And I've only got it just beeping on the, um, well, turn it on. Beeping on the, the down beats of those, or the quarter note. Nothing fancy with time signatures or quarters, sixteenth, eighths, all that kind of thing. Just a really simple exercise here that goes a long way. Um, just mute your strings. Don't worry about chords or anything or notes. Uh, if you have a pick, use a pick. If not, you can just use your thumb, finger. And you're just going to strum down when you hear that beep. You can also tap your toe when you're doing that. And like I said, the lesson in the link below goes into a lot more detail here, but just a simple one, two, three, four. Then you can also add in the ands, which will happen in between the beeps on the up strum. Here's a visual. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So we've just gone from quarter notes to eighth notes. And the metronome is just a great way to kind of start that process to start training your brain <laughs> to 
Um, it just burn it into your brain. You'll hear that beep all the time. But it's a great way to kind of start getting a good foundation for playing in rhythm and time is using that metronome. And finally, tip number seven is sounds a little uh, very beginner and very simple, but that's why it works. It is tune your guitar before you play each time. And I really recommend to folks to just play a little every day if you can. I'm talking like 10 or 15 minutes. It doesn't have to be these massive, you know, hours long sessions. Um, and if you miss a day here and there, it's okay. But kind of shoot for just every day for 10 or 15 minutes. But before you play, pop that tuner on, whatever one you're gonna use, and tune that guitar before each time that you play. That does a couple of things. It trains your ear to know what in tune means and what the strings and notes sh should sound like when they're in standard tuning or whatever tuning you're using. And it's just a good habit to get into. Um, do, your, do yourself a favor and do a favor for those who are listening to you. No one wants to hear anybody play a guitar that's out of tune. So that's a, a kind of a, a gimme there, but to invest in a tuner, they're not expensive at all, and tune that guitar before you play each time. And there is a link below for a much more in-depth session on how to tune your guitar as well. So use those tips, like I said, easy and effective. Put those into practice and you will get better at playing the guitar. Um, until next time, uh, Vicki, Maggie, and I very much appreciate your views and support here on YouTube. We very much appreciate our members that make it possible for us to keep doing this and bringing you guys lessons. Um, I also want to throw in uh, if you would like to have some songs to put this uh, together with, our first tip was learning to play songs. Check out this lesson where I've got four great acoustic guitar songs for you to learn. And until then, remember, you're never too old to learn. <laughs>